it's so big it's awesome like look how much how comfortable this is going to be camping wise i know people are going to say it's not camping that's glamping it's your queen size bed and your coffee table and your, your kitchen <laughs> and your big 16 foot yurt <laughs> oh that's incredible how cool is that so yeah yeah i'm excited about this this is gonna make camping a whole new experience i think uh i think it's gonna be awesome hey, hey everybody welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a wonderful day me and aiden are it's saturday um the yards mode most of your chores are done right son yep yep and uh we're just kind of enjoying the day. I thought it was going to be raining all day long, so I didn't plan anything today. But it's not raining, as you can see. And uh, we figured it's a good time to put together uh, our new tent. Uh, guys, we got this awesome product from. company called Awesome. Uh, the link's down below. Um, go check it out. Um, check out this yurt. It's a it's a yurt. It's a made out of tent material. We're going to put it together. We're going to do a review on it, see how good it is. I'm excited because... I want to do a lot of camping this year. What about you, son? Yeah, me too. I do. I love camping, so I can't wait to put this thing together, see how good it is um, and how big it is. It's supposed to be a 16-foot tall 10-person tent. Yeah, um, and there's also a table. They sent us a camping table, which I'm really excited about too because, um, well, you'll just have to see when we put it together. You ready? Yeah. Let's do this. If you guys aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll uh, get updates when we post videos and check out some products. Come on, Hercules. All right, so here's the table that we ordered, uh, we got from the, the company Awesome. There's a link down below. Check this out. It's got uh, three different tables here, and this one just pops on and off. And uh, it's got a nice windscreen here. You could uh, set a grill up here or something, make your sandwiches and stuff. Uh, and also, one of the things that I really liked about this table was all this storage area here and uh, the closing, the, the closed netting. Look at that. Now you can put all your food and stuff while you're camping. Put all your food and stuff in there, like the bread and chips on stuff. You don't have to worry about. Uh, bugs and animals getting to it. Um, it's got a whole nother storage area here. Put more stuff, put all your goodies. And another one, just like the other one. Oh, it's light, look at this. It's pretty light, so it'll be easy to move around if you wanna move it over here. You know, maybe you're over here cooking. Anyway, I think this is going to be a, a great addition to our camping gear. And if you guys are in the market for a camping table and uh, you, you've been looking to get a new camping table, go check this one out. They got other tables too. They got all kinds of cool camping uh, equipment, accessories, and stuff like that on that website. Go to the link down below and check them out and see if you can find some camping gear that uh, works good for you. Looks like the best way to do this is you spread it out all the way and stake down the 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 stake it down all the way around and then you go inside see if we can go in here hello son Hi. then you go inside and put up this pole which goes all the way to the top and then you put up the door frame piece
All right, as you guys can see, we got the yurt up. And man, it looks good. I'll be honest with you, that thing is big. Um, we're about to see how big it really is because we're going to start putting some stuff in there. Um, some camping stuff. I got like a, a blow-up mattress and stuff. It's also a great opportunity for me to try out my Jackery, uh, uh, my little uh, uh, generator, little solar power generator, the Jackery. We're going to see if that'll uh, power up the bed I got and blow it up. So we're going to try that out too. All right, wow, that Jackery was able to handle it. Um, <clears throat> man, it only drained 1% of the Jackery to air that bed up, so that's pretty stinking awesome. And that's a huge bed. Look how tall that thing is. That thing's gonna be awesome. Also brought some chairs in here and stuff. Maybe bring a table. Um, we'll see. Uh, we're just gonna set it up with some stuff and see how much room it really has. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you over here and show you inside this yurt. This thing's pretty awesome. We got it from the company uh, called Awesome uh, right there. And uh, there's gonna be a link down in the description for you to uh, check out this yurt uh, tent. It's, uh, I think it's 329 and there's a discount. It's called, uh, I think Special 12. Look in the description, there's all the information down there. You can get up to 12% off any of their products. Um, so thank you so much for sending us this thing. This thing I think is absolutely awesome. And uh, it was not too bad to put together. You, you want to put it together at least once before you go camping just to make sure you know how to do it. But let's go take a look inside. I think you guys are going to love this thing. I think I know I am. What do you think? Big. Could you go camping in this? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Let's see what we got here. Look at that. Nice little kitchen table. And look at this. Aiden's sitting right there in the, the chair with his feet on the nice Persian rug. Uh, chilling in the fan. That's pretty cool. So uh, comfy chair with a fan. We got our power station here from Jackery and uh, that's going to keep us all of our phones charged, this fan running. Uh, I can run this fan for eight hours on that Jackery and it'll only drain, I believe, 30%. I did it before. I uh, ran my fan on it all night long and uh, I think it only drained 30%. So that's pretty cool. And there's solar panels that go to Jackery so I can recharge that while I'm camping and stuff in the daytime. So that thing is going to be absolutely awesome for camping. Um, does it feel pretty good in front of the fan? Mm -hmm. Good. Because that's where I'm going to be sleeping. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. One thing I hate about camping, though, is it gets hot. So hopefully this fan will be awesome. You know what I mean? And just really cools down. Queen size bed in here. I mean, this thing has a lot of room. And it's tall. So what I really love about this, this whole yurt. Aiden, stand up, please. Walk around. How comfortable are you standing up? Pretty comfortable. And Aiden's like five foot tall. I'm a little bit taller than Aiden, not by much. So just walking around in here without having to have your head lowered or anything. I mean, look, go over there and act like you're going to make a sandwich. Look at that. He's just standing there. You can pull that out, take it outside. But, but what I'm getting at is, okay, what kind of sandwich are you making there, son? <laughs> oh, Aiden's making a peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Aiden has a little story. He ate way too many peanut butter and jellies the other day. Made himself not feel so good pretty funny so yeah that's like one of the biggest things i love about this yurt is being able to stand up in it look at all this room i got i got my hand as high as i can go that's awesome so all this room to stand around with your friends and hang out while you're camping and uh i didn't have a seat over there see how that feels probably wouldn't take this table and stuff camping i might though it's pretty awesome honestly it'd be worth it if you could if you could manage to bring it um, but it's got four chairs that pull out underneath it and stuff and you could be playing cards there You could be eating there um, I think I think that'd be cool to actually have with you while you're camping if you and if I'm bringing this thing out and setting all this stuff up 
I'm camping for a few days anyway, so might as well, huh? I'm about to get a trailer to go camping. It's funny. But, uh, yeah, I love this stuff. So go check out the uh, website. Awesome. Uh, and look at all their stuff. They got a bunch of different stuff on that website. I mean, from camping stuff to garden stuff to farming stuff to, to just you. You have to go check them out. Um, I see why they named their company awesome because they are awesome. Ain't that right, son? They send us all kinds of cool stuff and let us review them. And uh, we truly appreciate that. We get to have the opportunity to review your product. Uh, we love camping and I cannot wait to actually take this this thing out and try it out for the weekend. What do you think, son? Are you excited to go camping? Yep. I am too. I'm glad we set it up at home first. Yeah. So we get an idea of one, how to do it. Two, so how to take it night. down. Aiden's like, what? Yeah, we're gonna take it down. And uh, if you're in the market for some new camping gear and stuff like that table or the shirt, go check them out. The, I believe that, that everything will be down in the description for the website and the links to the products. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I can't wait to go camping. Uh, leave me some comments about how you guys like to go camping. What do you like to bring? What are some of your camping essentials? Now, I know you guys are going to say, that's not camping, that's glamping. Maybe, but it's still pretty nice. <laughs> so leave us some comments down below, your favorite camping memories, some of your favorite camping uh, essentials that you have to, absolutely have to have, and uh, tell me what you guys think about this yurt. Let us know in the comments. Leave some comments. Also, Aiden's going to tell you what the favorite, his favorite kind of s'more is. Reese's s'mores. Reese's s'mores are really good. If you never try them, try them out. It's just the graham crackers, the marshmallow, and a Reese's peanut butter cup instead of a Hershey's. Um, also, I like them with Almond Joy for my candy in there. Instead of a Hershey's or something, I'll put an Almond Joy and the graham cracker and marshmallow. I absolutely love that. Some of my favorite camping essentials is going to have to be uh, a fan and a bed. <laughs> I've slept on the floor. I've slept in cots, and I've slept with no fan, and it's hot. And man, I'm telling you, if you got an opportunity to have a bed and a fan, I'm taking it. <laughs> so that, those are some of my camping essentials. And uh, I think a table, a good table. I like to have a really good table like that one. Uh, I think that's going to do nicely. But I also like to have, I, I used to always take like a big long plastic table or like a plastic table like that. Those are absolutely awesome when I'm camping and stuff. Uh, also, a really good chair. I have an awesome chair. I got it at Walmart a couple years back. But it's my fishing chair is what it is. It's my fishing chair. It's got backpack straps because it folds up and you can carry it on your back. And it's got big old pockets on the side here for all kind of storage. And uh, all the legs are adjustable so it can sit at different heights on any leg. So I really like that chair. That chair's awesome. Uh, whew, my arms, my arms get, my arms starting to hurt. In here in my, my glamping mansion. It's funny. Hey guys, it ain't easy being rustic. <laughs> this is a, our rustic life's way of camping <laughs> super off grid super rustic <laughs> uh that's funny but i think we got a good setup so let us know what you guys think we love you guys i hope you enjoy this video and uh i may be here at the end of the video i'll just show you some clips of the animals the pigs margo the chickens the cat the rabbit um the kind of stuff we got going on here on our farm um it's pretty much what our farm looks like. Got the barn and the, the chicken set up and the pig set up over there. So if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy and we love you guys. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get notifications every time we post. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. We're going to go camping soon. Um, treat us the way you want to be treated and have a good day. about this many eggs. Son, you wanna do it? Yeah. Hold on, let me. There we go. Boy, they're in hog heaven right now. <laughs> Fuck the pigs. Son, the farmer.
You want to hold it, son? Yeah. Watch your face. <laughs> These old pigs here, they, uh, they're starting to like their pig waller. Starting to get in it more, starting to roll around. Mark, I'll leave them alone. They're, uh, yeah, chickens are doing pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. We have a, uh, we have a lot of eggs, actually. Look at that, gold mine. I need to collect those today. That's a couple days worth of eggs there. Uh, probably, I don't know, two or three days. I need to collect them. Um, we'll collect those today, so give them some room and stuff like that. The coop seems to be doing just fine. What's interesting is they only use this one nesting area. This one side's all they use. And if they don't use this, if I take, I have to leave an egg in here. I'll probably leave a golf ball in here or something. Um, but if I take all these eggs out, they build their own nest back there in that corner and they'll lay eggs over there. And then I have to go in and reach my arm through and it's a pain in the butt. But if I leave eggs here or a golf ball or something, then they come over here and lay eggs. So that's what we're gonna have to do. Margo, quit. I think they got about enough, enough water now for the day. Get that right, Margo. Ain't that right, baby? 